Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Benizam Markwe of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. I, I hope that we've been a blessing to you in, in your daily walk with God and bringing you to a, a much more better understanding of the principles of God in your life. Christianity is a life-filled applicative principles, and that's how I read the Bible. And this morning, I'd like to capture my uh, thought with the, with the phrase, slander pedestals slander you know and in in, in law it's it's punishable it's a, a punishable crime and it's an offense that the law courts can grant you uh, some form of reprieve if uh, you you're subjected to slander it's talking evil about you in genesis chapter 39 from verse 17 to 20 there is a powerful story over there genesis 39 and that story is about joseph and his journey to his purpose and his journey towards where god wanted to take him his journey to the pedestal in pharaoh's house and his journey to the second chariot in pharaoh's house now l listen to this now the bible said right from bondage but one way or the other he was sold as a slave uh, to the the army commander or the army captain and his name was potiphar potiphar had a wife and the bible says joseph was made to go and serve in in potiphar's house remember when potiphar joseph found so much favor in the eyes of Potiphar, and Potiphar's house prospered, and Joseph prospered in Potiphar's house. But Potiphar made a statement, and that caveat was, he listened to it, he said, everything that is my house is under you, except my wife. Everything that is in the house is in your care, except my wife. Everything that I have is yours. Everything that I have is yours to command, except my wife. Now, the Bible says in the passage of time, you know, uh, Potiphar, because he was very busy person so he was an absentee husband and as a result of that you know uh, Potiphar's wife had been eyeing him all along and Potiphar's wife has been ma making amorous advances towards him she was obviously enamored by um, by Joseph and uh, she wanted a piece of his flesh and the Bible said she made advances towards him and then Joseph uh, on one occasion the uh, advance was so aggressive that uh, it was so demanding it was so insistent Joseph, out of the strength of integrity that he had, he even fled and left his garment in the hands of the woman and just went away. That I prefer to go Adam and Eve. Naked I came into this world, naked I'll go. So he decided to just run away and left his clothes, his garment, in the hands of the woman. Then guess what the woman began to do? She began to scream. You get it? And she took Joseph's clothes as a war trophy to go and show it to everybody that this young man tried to rape me and in attempt to rape me i screamed and he left his clothes now see the picture very well she is wearing her garment she is dressed all right there is no wear and tear on her garment but the bible said joseph's garment was in her hands and she goes to everybody and she said he attempted to rape me there were servants in the house. Nobody had a word. Nobody had a sound. Nothing. And the Bible said, this woman's husband came and she displayed the evidence that she had against uh, Joseph. And she said, these are his garments. And she, in the, in, the, in the course of that, Joseph landed in prison. Her accusation, her slander, landed Joseph in prison. And for that, I was... I have in doubt whether the husband even believed her. I don't know. But he had to do it because that's what she's saying. And she has Joseph's clothes. But here is the principle. Do you remember that when Potiphar was giving Joseph charge of everything, he said, except my wife. That means stay away from my wife. First of all, if there was trust for his wife, he doesn't need to give that order. So I personally believe that Potiphar said, mm, this wife of mine, hmm... Uh, not everything. So Joseph, I'm warning you. You get it. Everything is under, but stay away from this woman. She's not under your, listen, 
Because the, the integ if, if he believes in the integrity of his wife, if he believes that his wife is a solid person, it would not, you don't have to warn. Uh, what, what you trust, you don't make noise about. What you trust, you don't echo instructions about. What you trust, you know it is there. It will never happen. Zilch, shelly, nada. It won't happen. But the Bible said, he warned Joseph. So I believe that particular story that she told him, he may have had his misgivings. But my wife said it. So Joseph landed in prison. What a sorry story. And what a sad story. You know, sometimes people throw accusations at us that are not, that are not true. And they may come at you from left, right. And sometimes the accusations look plausible. Or sometimes the accusations look like it is. It is like what it is. Because Joseph's clothes were in her hands. So everything may point out that, but it is not true. And it is just ordinary. It is slander. It is accusation. It is, it is not true. It is a lie. It is, it is falsehood. You remember the people said to Jesus that crucify him because he's a cr criminal. He's a friend of wine barbers and he, he, he fished in the, in, uh, or he frolics with prostitutes. Was that true? It wasn't true. So sometimes slander and all those things may be thrown at you. Accusations and your name will be muddied and every other thing. That, but hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Here is the glorious thing. Potiphar's wife slander landed Joseph in jail. That introduced him to the butler and the baker. And by introduction to the butler, the butler further introduced him to Pharaoh. And so Joseph's pathway to his pedestal was by the slander of Potiphar's wife. If she had not made that accusation against him, he wouldn't have landed in the jail. And if he had not landed in the jail, he would not have met the butler. And if he had not met the butler, nobody will repeat his prowess. Nobody will repeat, uh, repeat the talent that's upon him. Nobody will repeat or, 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 or speak about the potential that was in him to interpret dreams. Nobody will tell Pharaoh. And his story will end in Potiphar's house. So guess what? Her slander was a pedestal to his purpose, was his pedestal to the palace. And in the palace, that was when Joseph became the second biggest person, the second biggest fish in Egypt. And not just a big fish in Egypt, but a bigger fish over Potiphar, the army captain. So now, Potiphar is going to meet Joseph and bow. And Potiphar's wife is also going to meet Joseph. And now, who is who? So I'm sure she would say, oh, you know that. Say, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You threw me to my destiny. Can I tell you something? When men throw evil at you, when they throw the javelin of slander at you, when they throw the accusation at you, and they may, may, may do everything that they can just to destroy you or to destroy your name or destroy who you are, don't be afraid. Once you know your truth, hold on to your truth, and you'll be very surprised. God can turn the slander into platforms. God can turn the slander into a staircase to your purpose. Walk in your innocence. Hold your innocence. And don't be worried about what they are saying. Be worried about what God is going to do with you. Rather concentrate on that. And by all means, they will meet you. Because Potiphar's wife was still in Egypt when Joseph was made. Prince of Egypt. Prime Minister of Egypt. You will meet them. So you know what? Slander. And sometimes be the pedestal. To God's purpose. Slander will be the staircase. And the Bible says it succinctly. All things work together for good. You've had your fair share of it. Don't be worried. See where it's going to land you. I'm looking for the bright tomorrow. I'm looking for the powerful time ahead. Not in the slander of yesterday. Not in the accusation of yesterday. But I'm looking at where the accusation, the platforms it provided for you to become who God wants you to be. So slander, pedestals, and sometimes a fact of life. See you later.